All right, welcome everyone. I'm Rajneesh Gupta, and this is our mock interview series. With me, I have Jevin Partak. He will be the interviewer for this mock interview series, and I'll be the candidate. Uh, before we go ahead with the, uh, with the actual mock interview uh, questions, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And if you are a new subscriber, uh, I mean, if you are an existing subscriber, make sure you press the bell icon so that you get notified immediately. All right. so. Without taking much time, let's get started. Hi, Jamin, how are you? I'm good, Anish. How are you? Good, good, good. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. Okay. So, Rajnish, today my question is on SSL. Mm -hmm. What is SSL? SSL is this, uh, SSL is a secure socket layer and um, the purpose of SSL is to achieve confidentiality. And it, it does that by authentication and uh, uh, also by encrypting the session. So SSL, uh, the one of the most common example is used in the HTTPS. So we, we browse multiple websites, right? So on those websites, we use the SSL to encrypt our HTTP data so that only me and the website can understand what actually being transferred on the wire, right? So SSL basically encrypt the data being sent by client and the server. Uh, this ensures there is a confidentiality and no other person can, I mean, only me and server can read and send those data, but no other person in between can listen to that, right? SSL also ensures that the any user in the internet or anyone can authenticate the identity of the server this enhances the trust as well in the network and reduces the chances of any man in the middle attack as well now the now the um, now the interesting thing is ssl is no longer used although we still use the the keyword ssl but ssl is no longer used due to several vulnerabilities um I remember there was vulnerability related to Poodle, Beast, Heartbleed as well. So currently, the um, the version which is being used uh, for the same purpose is the TLS, that's the Transport Layer Security, which addresses many of the security issues of the SSL. But at the same time, it performs the same kind of activity, which is authenticating the server identity and encrypting the session. So that's the purpose nowadays. I mean. Almost all the uh, regulatory standards and compliance requirements mandate the use of TLS as well. So yeah, that, that's as we said. Yeah. Okay. So Rajnish, can you tell me on which layer of the OSI this SSL work? So that's uh, slightly debatable, but usually some, some say it works on the uh, transport layer, application layer, but from my point of view, it works for multiple layer. Uh, SSL begins at the session layer of the OSI layer, OSI model. Then it operates at the presentation layer because that's where encoding, decoding, encryption, decryption happen. So that's the layer six of OSI model. So this layer, uh, the presentation layer, maintains the uh, you know end user encryption, decryption uh, between both client and the server side. So it starts working at the session layer and it actually works at the layer six of OSI model. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, Rajesh, this is all I have for today. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jamin. Um, and thank you so much, everyone, for watching the video. Uh, if you have any question, do let us know in the comment section. Me, This is me, Rajneesh Gupta, with Jamin Patak. Bye for now.